Hey everybody, Cypher Boy here. Today I'm doing a random pack and color challenge. You've probably seen a lot of people do the random pack generator by James Turner. I ended up doing an extra thing where I do um, the color as well for each room instead of just the pack um, to be done. So the first thing was tiny living and orange. That's going to be for the outside. I did try to do black before, but that did not pan through because there wasn't any black um, items from the tiny living pack. So I had to end up doing uh, the orange instead. And um, I did have issues with the roof. I made the house here beforehand. Um, I did cut away a lot of the video though. It was over an hour and 30 minutes long. And I managed to get it under 20 minutes by cutting all of that out. So that was a nice thing. Okay, here is where I try to do... Actually, I did do black. It was the orange that had nothing available for it and I did end up having to do base game items for the things that were not part of the packs um, like for example one of the bedrooms there were no beds in the laundry day pack so I had to do the base game so um, that's the issue here I did the um, base game for the walls and stuff on the outside. Purple. What was the purple for? I forgot. I think at this point I was just trying to find stuff that would actually show up on the pack. Um, but I did end up going with um, with the black instead. And as you can see, I have a whole ton of custom content, which I did not use any of that because I wanted it to be able to be downloaded from the gallery if you wanted to do it, or in order to use it without anything like disappearing on you. For the galleries, that's what I often try to do is have everything base game and then the packs I currently own. Although most of the time I do try to do just the base game, that way everyone can enjoy it. So here I am putting down the windows. By the way, this is my first speed build um, and commentary type of thing, so it's pretty exciting trying it for the first time. So I do like the windows I used. Um, I I want to say now, I should have put a light outside the door, like an outside light, that way that part is not blank. Okay, so gray, vampires, so this is going to be for the living room area, and for the wallpaper I used it for the whole room. I wanted to try and find something that would work for multiple colors. Because I'm doing the kitchen and dining room and it's hot in this video because I think I ended up accidentally cutting it out. Um, but there was a, in the back corner there was a skill um, where I put all the skill stuff. But here I'm doing the vampire living room. I wanted to use that bench but it's made of stone so I didn't think that would be too comfortable for the sims who end up in the house. So I went with these with the fabric on and cushioning so to make it a little bit easier on them uh, to be able to enjoy. I of course put the um, grandfather clock in. And for TVs I just did the base game one because I wanted something there for I should have done a fireplace now that I think of it but I did put a console table actually a dining table but I'm using it as a console table right beneath I'm trying to find one that would fit underneath there properly 
and um, see what I what else I do at this point. Yeah, they had no bookcases for vampires that were in gray, so I just put a stack of books there. It works the same way. And I put another lamp there for extra decor. I wanted to put a little snow globe or that thing here onto the table, but it would not fit there for, or go onto it for some reason. So I ended up leaving that out. And I chose the wall mirror instead of the other one to help. Um, the flow of the room that way the sims cannot be stuck in between the mirror and those two uh, sofas I put the creepy werewolf thing up there and of course I have been sizing items up to make it seem like the room is more full so tiny living orange this is going to be for the kitchen area which is in the lower left hand corner of the um, this area here I did have to do base game counters uh, for this part though or multiple base game things for the challenge I did use as many of the pack items I could in that color that they wanted me to do I realized they put the uh, island counters backwards so I did switch that out before I moved on to the dining room here I'm placing the appliances and I decided for the smaller hood sto stove hood or whatever that's called to make it look better and I decided to go with I was going to use the one with the back on it for the stool but I wanted to wanted each thing to look completely different although if I wanted to I should have um, try to keep everything kind of um, in line with the core of the living room although the stores here work very well for that as well so I'm pleased with the outcome my thinking was that what if this household had a whole ton of friends and family so there would be plenty of seating for everyone who ends up like if they're throwing a party or something you know so that's what my reasoning for that was having all this um, sitting area space okay there's that I think I did choose the carpet tiny living black for the dining room area I did choose the light colored gray carpet instead of the darker one that way it would um, help tie in everything together as much as I as much as it could because the darker one I don't think it would have done as well and um, here I'm putting down the dining table and stuff now that table I think does go well with the vampire pack because of the uh, shape of the legs and how dark it is And um, I did change out the doors eventually. Yeah, I learned how to put the subscribe thing there at the bottom. That was pretty fun. Um, this is the first time I tried ed editing the video, and I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. So that was nice. I should have made the hallway right there a little bit more like for two people instead of just one that would have made the bathroom skinnier but so get to work in orange that's for the bathroom anyways um, I should have made the wall on the left hand side for the bathroom one less that way the hallway wouldn't be that skinny I used the orange from the, from the base game and I decided to use towel for the bathroom floor. I went with this because I thought it looked pretty good with the 
um, wallpaper there. Now I'm trying to get as I did get the um, went to work or the working the one what's the game pike again get to work I did use the sink from that one in here because it had a deflatable so and here I'm doing the um, the rug I should have probably tried to see if that would have um, been able to be um, what's the word sized up one more time to see how that would have looked um, yeah so I pretty much put random stuff in here I eventually went with these blinds because I thought they looked better than the part I did before the bathroom anyway in here I'm just throwing as much of the bent to work stuff as I could into the room Before I forget, I do have on my gallery larger day stuff and pink for the bedroom. I do have this available on my gallery for The Sims 4. Um, the origin ID, I believe, if you search uh, Cypher Boy Gaming, it should come up. And on the uh, gallery, it does have the extra part that was missed in the video where all the skill sets uh, stuff were there so I have um, I put a art easel chest table and a punch it bag there I wanted to use the wallpaper that was shown in the room before this one but it was a debug item so I wasn't sure if it would show up for everyone or if you had to have a cheat or something active for it to show up I decided for a little sitting area with the table for doing work or whatever and here this part here um, yeah I had to delete a chair though for the door to go there I don't know why everything had to be two tile for the doors I don't have the move objects cheat on so I could not get that to scoot up against the bed but you can do that if you want to I just put it right in front of the chair though instead for this build I put the um, ironing board on the wall over there so I wanted to do one of these on both sides, but it, there was no room. So I just went ahead and put it on that side. And again, I put two chandeliers because the room is so large. Um, that just I just put that randomly, so no rhyme or reason to it. The part with the wicker chair and stuff, that part ended up reminding me of the Golden Girls, like an 80s Miami thing, once this uh, picture is above it. That's totally something they would have had in the show. And here I'm just putting random stuff from this. As many of from the so yellow and get to work. That's going to be the next bedroom over. Um, I should have put a light or something in that little hallway. I just now thought of that. Anyways, again, there's not much from the get to work pack as far as beds or furniture goes. So I did as well. I did what I could. Um, I'm sad to say I should have used the other lighting because these there's too much shadow against the walls. I do like these pedestals and how they look beside the bed. That's pretty cool. And of course with yellow you had to have sunflowers so I went ahead and put that behind the bed. So here I also did another seating area because the room is large. I wanted to do the chair like that where it's angled but it didn't look right 
Um, so I just did it like that and then put the bookcase shelving things there. In here I'm just throwing random stuff around the room to make it look full. Sizing stuff up when I could. Although I'm sure you can do size everything up in the game. But um, I mostly do it for the posters and rugs and stuff. I should have used that second lights, but then I was thinking at the time it would have looked too much like the one in the bathroom, and I didn't. I wanted each room to look different, so that's my reasoning behind having these um, interrogator type of lights. So instead, I put the wall lights um, over there throughout the room to brighten it up a little bit. And here I'm using base game for like little chotskis and stuff. I do put a shelving unit beside the door with nothing on it, but my reasoning was to have that for like any collectibles that some that lives here uh, end up finding. Like having extra space for collectibles that may have been found, like if you're wanting to display them. Yeah, these right there, they match the pedestals beside the bed. All in all, I do like the room. It's just the lighting mostly that um, is an issue. So I did decide to do a swimming pool. I did not do a pack for this one, but I did choose the black, or had the black uh, chosen for me. So here I went with the marble because I thought that looked pretty cool. And taking the grid lines off, I wanted to see how it looks. And of course, you cannot have a pool without the pool lights inside to where the Sims can see what they're doing. And I wanted to have this area like a barbecue type of place where Sims can go out and eat over here and um, like enjoy the outdoors especially since I have seasons here now so I'm glad about that um, I accidentally deleted all of these when deleting the uh, the next mess I put down like all of these tiles yeah that did not look very good so I did delete the majority of these. I figured I did not put anything on the grassy area because I thought maybe if your sims wanted to have a place for their kids to play with swing sets or whatever the kids have or maybe a gardening area so I left that part blank for that purpose. And here I do end up taking that table out and doing a more with an umbrella instead. Of course, making sure it, the umbrella was black, so there's that. And I think we're coming to a close. Yeah, so um, the part in the upper right hand corner of the living area, the main one. That's where I had to store things. And coming up on the last uh, part of the video, so if you enjoyed, please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.